KXLY4 Make It Count election coverage now as we continue our series of interviews with the candidates for elected office. We are joined tonight by Spokane County Commissioner Candidate Democrat Brian Sayers. We appreciate you being here with us. Thank you so much. Okay, you are running against Mark Richard for County Commissioner. Yes, um, he has been in the commission now for four years. Can you tell me one thing that he has done right and one thing that you would say he has done wrong? Well, you know, in a role at Spokane County, there are lots of opportunities to do things right and wrong. I, I think he's been doing a good job making sure that we deal with our criminal justice issues. But with land use, he is totally off track, and he's doing things that are not only illegal but harm our communities. You are right now a Liberty Lake City Councilman. What has that taught you about um, being ready to take on the county commission? I, well, actually, it was more than just that. I was part of the drive to incorporate the city of Liberty Lake, and so really my role as a city council member was to bridge the gap between what Spokane County did and what my community expected. In other words, we needed to improve this upon the services of Spokane County, a role that I will be doing as a county commissioner. The county took a lot of heat recently for purchasing the Spokane Raceway Park area. Uh, do you think this was a good purchase? Would you have voted for it? I would not. And actually, every function that has been m mentioned over the last few months uh, hasn't necessitated the purchase of the racetrack, whether it's the, the training center or uh, playing soccer. I mean, they're not going to play soccer on the racetrack. These things are not, uh, the, the ownership is not necessary in order to provide the services that are so crucial. I wouldn't have purchased a racetrack that should be in private ownership. If you are elected to the county commission, what do you think, what would be your number one priority for the county? Well, one of the things that we really need to do at Spokane County is recognize the existence of neighborhoods. So far, we've had so many conflicts between developers and the county and our neighborhoods. It's because Spokane County doesn't recognize the existence of these neighborhoods in the first place, so it can't work for those neighborhoods. When we recognize the existence of these neighborhoods, the, count, the, commission, the, sorry, the, the communities are going to be able to express what their needs are. Then the developers will know beforehand what it is that they need to do in order to be able to build their projects, and it will reduce the amount of uh, stress and rigmarole involved in growing our community. Well, we have a, a series of short answer, yes and no if possible, yes, but short answer is fine as well. The same questions that I asked your opponent. Does Spokane County need higher taxes to balance its budget, and would you vote to raise taxes of any kind? I don't think that it needs to raise taxes in order to, uh, to handle the budget issues. Part of our issue is that we don't hold some people responsible for their effect on our budget. Developers in particular, they don't have to pay their fair share of schools, parks, and roads. If they were to do that, then it would come off of the burden of the, the taxpayers. Now, when we get to the point where we're going to be talking about a jail, that is something that the community is going to have to make a decision on. Do you or did you support banning nearly all types of dishwashing detergents because of concern over the quality of the river? Yes, ma'am. And in fact, it's not just a matter of, of, of that. We're also going to have to work on phosphorus-containing fertilizers as well so that we can protect this very important asset. Uh, should the county work with the city of Spokane to build a light rail system from downtown to Liberty Lake? I think that that is part of it. Uh, we need to have a region-wide system, but the most important part is making sure that the, the communities are bought in in changing the way that we do transportation. Uh, right now, we haven't really engaged our communities in the right way. Once we do that, then we're going to be able to make some changes. Should the county consider tolls or other funding measures to finish up the North-South Freeway? I don't think tolls really make any sense. There are so many options, people will just take away around it. Mm -hmm. And so we just need to make sure that the places that uh, people are moving are the most advantageous. Traffic flows like water. If we want them to go in a certain area, we just make an advantage rather than making someplace else a disadvantage. Would the county be worse off if Mark Richard remains as a county commissioner? I. I would hope not, but I, from the history of it, I believe it would be. There are actions that he's taken which have threatened the future of Spokane International Airport, the existence of Fairchild Air Force Base. He is unrepentant uh, because he denies that he did anything that caused great issue. The fact is we need somebody who's going to be paying attention to the needs of our neighborhoods or else the neighborhoods will never matter. All right, Brian Sayers, thank you for your time. Thank and you, best of luck to you.